The purpose of this video is to review some of the algebra we learned uh, around graphing lines and understanding linear equations. And we've got four goals in this basic video. We want to plot the line uh, that's given from this data. We want to determine its intercept. We want to determine its slope and we want to determine the equation of the line. And in so doing, we're going to review two key equations that are going to help us with this unit related to velocity. So to plot the line, let's just go ahead and label our axes. Um, I'm going to count off every two on the x-axis. The x is the horizontal, always. So the left column will always be our horizontal data, whether we're doing algebra or whether we're in our physics class. And the y column is going to be vertical. And we go all the way from 2 up to 20. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and um, plot our data. So at x equals 0, y is 2. At x equals 2, we count all the way up to 8. At x equals 4, we count all the way up to 14. And at x equals 6, we count all the way up to 20. And so those are the points that we have. Now, if I were doing this in real lab, I'd want to use a ruler. Unfortunately, I'm using my Mac-related hardware. And so I'm going to do this as a dotted line. I'd actually want you to sort of fill this in more solid. Let me try to do that. All right. So this is, unfortunately, I see a lot of us do it this way in class. And uh, the truth is we really do want to use a ruler. So we've plotted the line. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to determine the intercept. Well, the intercept we read off the graph. So when we say the intercept, what we really mean is we mean the y-intercept. And that's right here. So the intercept is 2. If we wanted a coordinate for that intercept, it would be 0, 2. In other words, we want to know the value of y when x equals 0. That's what we mean by the intercept. Now to get the slope of this line, we're going to take two points on our plot, and any two points will do. And let's remember our key equation, the slope equation. That is given by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So a classic mistake people make is that they take the horizontal over the vertical, but the equation is vertical over horizontal. So in this particular line, we would actually, I'll pick these two points, for example. And so I would take the slope as 20 minus 14 over 6 minus 4. And that's going to give me 6 over 2, which is going to end up being 3. So that's our slope, 3. Now, to get the equation for this line, we review our algebra 1. The equation for line and slope intercept form is given by y equals m x plus b, where again m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So this particular line has the equation y equals 3x plus 2. The ability to go from charts to graphs to equations calculating slope and intercept is going to be a key skill when we do work with constant velocity graphs.